So in this video, we're going to be learning how to add and subtract mixed numbers. And if we look at the top of our screen, for these two problems, we're going to add or subtract each pair of mixed numbers by first converting them into improper fractions. So I'm going to show you guys two ways that we can add and subtract mixed numbers. And this first method is by first converting the fractions into improper fractions and then adding them as we would normally do. So example one is three and four fifths plus two and three tenths. So we want to first convert each fraction into an improper fraction. So if we look at three and four fifths, remember to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction, we're going to start by multiplying the whole number by the denominator. So we're going to do three times five, which is 15. And then we're going to add that result to the numerator. So 15 plus four is 19. So 19 is going to be our new numerator and our denominator stays the same. So we get that 3 and 4 fifths is the same as 19 fifths. We're going to do the same thing for 2 and 3 tenths. So first we multiply the whole number by the denominator. So 2 times 10 is 20. We're going to add that to our numerator. 20 plus 3 is 23. That's our new numerator and our denominator stays the same. So we have 19 fifths plus 23 tenths. And now remember when we add or subtract fractions, we need to first make sure that we have a common denominator. And we're going to do that by finding the least common multiple of the two given denominators. So the least common multiple of 5 and 10 is 10. So we want both of our fractions to have a denominator of 10. Luckily, our second fraction already has a denominator of 10, so we're going to keep it as it is. And for the first fraction, we need to think, how did we get from 5 to 10? Well, we multiplied by 2. Anything we multiply the denominator by, we have to multiply the numerator by to keep it an equivalent fraction. So we're going to do 19 times 2, which gives us 38. And now we're going to add the numerators. So 38 plus 23 is going to give us 61 on the top. So we get 61 tenths. And then we're going to write our answer as a mixed number. So we have to change 61 tenths into a mixed number. So 10 goes into 61 six times, and there's a remainder of 1. So we get 6 and 1 tenths as our answer. Now let's take a look at example 2, which is subtraction. So we're going to start by doing the same thing. So we have 4 and 2 thirds minus 1 and 3 fourths. And we want to start by changing each mixed number in, into an improper fraction. So if we look at 4 and 2 thirds, we're going to multiply 3 by 4, which is 12. Add that to our numerator of 2. So 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 is our new numerator and our denominator stays as it is, so we get 14 thirds. And now for 1 and 3 fourths, we're going to multiply 1 and 4, which is just 4. Add that to our numerator of 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. So we get 7 as our numerator. Our denominator stays as 4. So we have 14 thirds minus 7 fourths. And now we have to find a common denominator. So the least common multiple of, four, of 3 and 4 is 12. So we're going to change both of our denominators to be 12. And now we have to think, how do we get from 3 to 12? Well, 3 times 4 is 12. So we have to multiply our numerator by 4 also. And 14 times 4 is going to give us 56 on the top. We're going to do the same thing for 7 fourths. So 4 times 3 is going to give us 12. So we have to multiply 7 by 3 to keep the fraction equivalent. And 7 times 3 is 21. And now we want to subtract the, nu the numerators. So 56 minus 21 is going to give us 35 on the top. Our denominator stays as a 12. And finally, we want to change this into a mixed number. So 12 goes into 35 twice. And 12 times 2 is 24. So we have 11 left over. So we get 2 and 11 twelfths as our answer. Now let's work through two examples using the second method I'm going to teach you guys. So for these two examples, we're going to add or subtract each pair of mixed numbers by adding or subtracting the whole numbers and fractions separately. So we are not going to turn our mixed numbers into improper fractions first. So this method is a little bit harder for some students, but it should be faster because we're not going to have to do as much long multiplication. 
So let's dive into number three. So number three says two and five sixths plus four and seven eighths. So what we wanna do is keep our mixed numbers as mixed numbers, and we wanna turn our fraction parts into fractions with a common denominator. So to do that, we have to find the least common multiple of six and eight. So we're gonna keep the whole number parts the same. So we're gonna keep a two. And then the least common multiple of six and eight is gonna be 24. So we wanna change both of our fraction parts to have a denominator of 24. So again, we're gonna keep this four as it is in the second fraction, and we wanna change the denominator of the fraction part into a 24. And now we're gonna think, how did we get from six to 24? Well, we multiplied by four. So we have to multiply the top of our fraction part by four, and five times four is gonna give us 20. So we changed two and five six into two and 20 20 fourths. And now we think, how do we get from eight to 24? Well, eight times three is 24. So we're gonna multiply our numerator of seven by three, and seven times three is 21. So now we have two and 20 20 fourths plus four and 21 20 fourths. And now what we're gonna do is add the whole number parts and the fraction parts separately. So two plus four is going to give us six as our whole number. And then we're gonna add 20 20 fourths plus 21 20 fourths. We're gonna add the numerators and we get 41. On the top, keep the denominator the same so we get 41 20 fourths. So we have six and 41 20 fourths. And this looks a little bit strange because we have an improper fraction within our mixed number, so we need to fix that. So what we're gonna do is think about how we can break up 41 20 fourths into some number of holes and then whatever's left over. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. You don't have to do it this long way every time, but I wanna show you just so it makes sense. So we're gonna keep six as our whole number. And mixed numbers are really just the same as adding the whole part to the fraction part. So six and 41 20 fourths is the same as six plus 41 20 fourths. And now what we wanna do is break up 41 20 fourths into holes with remainders. So 24 goes into 41 one time. So this is really six plus one, and then what we have left over is gonna be 17. So this is the same as six plus one and 17 20 fourths. So basically we just changed this improper fraction into a mixed number. And now we're gonna combine the six with the one and 17 20 fourths. So we're just gonna add the whole number parts. So six plus one is seven. So we get seven and 17 20 fourths as our answer. So let's take a look at example four, which is a subtraction problem. So example four is five and a half minus two and seven twelfths. So this time we're subtracting, but we're going to use the same method that we did for example three. So we're gonna keep the whole number parts of our fraction the same. So we're gonna keep this as a five, keep this as a two, and we wanna make a common denominator between our one half and our seven twelfths. So the least common multiple of two and 12 is 12. So we want both of our fractions to have denominators of 12. Luckily, our second fraction already has a denominator of 12, so we get to keep it as is. And for one half, we're gonna think, how do we get from two to 12? Well, we multiplied two by six, so we have to multiply our numerator by six, and one times six is six. So now we have five and six twelfths minus two and seven twelfths. And now we wanna subtract the whole number parts and subtract the fraction parts. But if you look here, our first fraction part is six twelfths, and our second fraction part is seven twelfths. 7 twelfths is greater than 6 twelfths, so we're not gonna be able to subtract because we'll get a negative number, and that's gonna make our problem very confusing. So what we have to do is we have to borrow from this whole number. So we need to borrow from the five and turn our 6 twelfths into some fraction that's greater than 7 twelfths. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna re rewrite five as four and 12 twelfths right, because 12 twelfths is just a whole. So four and 12 twelfths is really five. And remember, mixed numbers are just the same as adding the whole part and adding the fraction part. So our five became four and 12 twelfths. And now we're really adding it to this six twelfths, right? 
And then for our second fraction, we're just going to keep it as is. So 4 and 12 twelfths plus 6 twelfths is going to be 4 and 18 twelfths. So what we did was we borrowed a whole from our 5 and added that to our fraction part of 5 and 6 twelfths. So really, we added 12 to our numerator of 6. So we have 4 and 18 twelfths. And we'll do minus 2 and 7 twelfths. And now we're going to subtract the whole number parts. So 4 minus 2 is going to give us 2. And now we can subtract the fraction parts. So 18 twelfths minus 7 twelfths is going to give us 11 twelfths. And we don't need to simplify because we can't simplify 11 twelfths. So we get that our final answer is 2 and 11 twelfths. So you guys can choose whichever method you want when adding or subtracting mixed numbers. I find the second method to be a little bit faster, but I also understand that it's confusing for some people. So if you like the first method more, that's completely fine. So we're going to go through two more examples where you guys can use whichever method you choose. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own. You can use either of the previous two methods, but I'm going to use the second method for number five because I think it'll be a little bit easier and I'll use the first method for number six. So go ahead and pause the video and then you can unpause it when you finish the problems and you can watch me go through them to see if you get the right answer. So number five says three and seven ninths plus five and one third. Again, I'm going to be using the second method, which is adding the whole numbers and the fractions separately. So what I want to do is keep the whole numbers the same. And I want to find a common denominator for 9 and 3. The least common multiple of 9 and 3 is 9. So my first fraction stays as it is. And I need to turn 1 third into something with the denominator of 9. To get from 3 to 9, I multiply by 3. So I have to multiply my numerator by 3. 1 times 3 is just 3. So I get that 5 and a third is the same as 5 and 3 ninths. Now I'm going to add the whole number parts. 3 plus 5 is going to give me 8. And now I'm going to add the fraction parts. So 7 ninths plus 3 ninths is 10 ninths. So I have 8 and 10 ninths. So again, we have an improper fraction within our mixed number. So we're going to have to break up that improper fraction, turn it into a mixed number. So remember, 8 and 10 ninths is really the same as 8 plus 10 ninths. And now I want to change 10 ninths into a mixed number. Oops. So that we have 8 plus 9 goes into 10 one time, and there's a remainder of 1. So 10 ninths is the same as 1 and 1 ninth. And now we're just going to combine 8 plus 1 and 1 ninth. So 8 plus 1 is 9, so we get 9 as our whole number part, and we have 1 ninth as our fraction part. So we get 9 and 1 ninth as the answer for number 5. So now let's take a look at example 6, and I'll be using the first method where we turn each fraction into an improper fraction first. So we're going to look at 4 and 1 fourth. So we need to turn it into an improper fraction, so what we're going to do is multiply the denominator by the whole number. 4 times 4 is 16 add that to our numerator. 16 plus 1 is 17. So we have 17 over 4. And then we're going to do the same thing for 2 and 5 sixths. So 6 times 2 is 12, plus our numerator of 5 is 17. So we get 17 sixths. And now we need to turn these improper fractions into two fractions with the same denominator. So we have to find the least common multiple of 4 and 6, which is 12. So we need to turn each fraction into a fraction with a denominator of 12. So to get from 4 to 12, we multiplied by 3. So to keep our fraction equivalent, we have to multiply the numerator by 3. 17 times 3 is 51. So we get that 17 fourths is equivalent to 51 twelfths. Now we're going to do the same thing for 17 sixths. So 6 times 2 is 12. So we're going to multiply our numerator of 17 by 2. And 17 times 2 is 34. And now we want to subtract our numerators. So 51 minus 34 is going to give us a 17 on the top. We keep our denominator as it is. So we get 17 twelfths. 
And finally, we want to write this as a mixed number. So 12 goes into 17 one time, and there is a remainder of 5. So we get that 17 twelfths is equal to 1 and 5 twelfths. So our final answer is 1 and 5 twelfths. So that's all the examples we're going to go over in this video. I hope it helped you guys learn how to add and subtract mixed numbers. Remember that you can use two methods. You can change the mixed numbers into improper fractions first, or you can combine the whole number parts of each mixed number and the fraction parts of each mixed number separately.